A retired educator has been channeling his teaching skills to learn more and more about the art of sculpting. His work is scattered in the Minot area where he lives, in neighboring states, and even as far as Norway. The teacher turned sculptor is this week's Someone You Should Know. Rich Solberg learned to weld when he was 12, thanks to his dad. As he says, he's been putting metal together ever since then and has become quite the artist. I used to think you had to be successful in selling art to call yourself an artist. He has had success in selling art, but over the years it's turned into more than money. It's a lot of work, but it's a labor of love. My process a lot of times starts at 2 a.m. in the morning when other people are sleeping. My mind is churning and working on the latest process, latest thought. And sometimes I'll build that piece many times in my mind. And then sometime in the near future, I would start to build that piece in, in actuality. A common theme within Solberg's work is recycled metals. All projects begin with browsing for the pieces he's looking for, or pieces that can be made into the right shape, which has led him to do a lot of forge work and acquire a pretty big scrap pile. Sometimes, he says, it's like a puzzle. He'll even build the tools he needs to be able to make that missing piece. Generally, I've got a lot more ideas than I have time to do them. And my best pieces are always the next one. The ideas and time spent aren't always consecutive either. For example, this piece. Initially, it looks like a skeleton on a motorcycle. At first, it was the lone motorcycle. Now, it's actually time machine, no brakes. The motorcycle represents the movement of time. Every second is going to come by and then it's going to leave. And so the skeleton probably represents somebody trying to control time. If you look closely, every aspect of a functioning motorcycle is represented, except for the brakes. Another one of his big projects stands right here at First Lutheran Church in Minot. This 12-foot sculpture includes more than a hundred of these small crosses, all of course individually shaped by Solberg. It must strike a chord in people, which then makes me feel good about it, because they, they tell me, they, 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 every time they look at it, they see something different. I like that. As an artist, I think that's pretty cool. That's also why he chooses to donate a lot of his work. This piece, for example, will be up for auction in a few weeks at the Black Tie and Spurs Gala in Medora. I was there for the finishing touch, and now it's on to the next project. Just like an athlete, once you've won the race, you, you would like to win the next race and the next race. So it's the same with, with me. You know, I would like to keep doing better work and, and uh, uh, keeping people interested in in the world of art. Rich Solberg is someone you should know. So if you can't attend that auction, you can bid virtually. I have a link on our website, kxnet.com. And coming up on July 4th, Solberg is hosting an art show in his hometown of Stanley.